Simone Biles, the most decorated gymnast in history, just did something that left the entire world in awe. Overcoming the twisties and mental health battles and breaking every stereotype in the book, she's redefined what it means to be a champion. Can you believe how she managed to pull off the impossible in gymnastics? To be Simone Biles. Born in Columbus, Biles has earned seven Olympic medals. Simone Biles' story is one of those that shows how incredible life's journey can be. Born on March 14, 1997, in Columbus, Ohio, Simone faced challenges from the very beginning. Her mother struggled with substance abuse, which meant that Simone and her siblings couldn't stay with her. But here's where the story takes a turn for the better. Her grandparents, Ronald and Nellie Biles, stepped in. They adopted Simone and her younger sister, Adria, giving them a stable and loving home in Spring, Texas. We are coming up on the Olympics, and there is one name you will likely be hearing a lot, Simone Biles. She's a 19-year-old gymnastics prodigy. Now, imagine this. A young Simone, full of energy and curiosity, goes on a daycare field trip to Bannon's Gymnastics in Houston. Can you picture the moment? She was just six years old, and this visit was supposed to be a regular day out, but it turned into something extraordinary. Watching the gymnasts flip and soar through the air, Simone was captivated. It was like something clicked inside her. She started imitating the moves, and it was clear to everyone around that this kid had found her passion. Simone's grandparents saw her potential and encouraged her to pursue gymnastics seriously. They enrolled her in classes at Bannon's Gymnastics, where she began her formal training under the guidance of coach Amy Borman. And boy, did she take to it like a duck to water. She trained with unmatched enthusiasm, soaking up every lesson and mastering new skills with a determination that was nothing short of remarkable for someone her age. By the time Simone was eight, she was already making waves in the gymnastics community. She wasn't just participating, she was excelling. Her early successes laid the foundation for what would become one of the most storied careers in gymnastics history. The coaches at Bannon's quickly realized they had a prodigy on their hands. Simone was winning competitions and dazzling everyone with her routines. It was clear that she was destined for greatness, even if she was just getting started. Simone Biles' rise to fame is a story that reads like a fairy tale, but with a lot more sweat and determination. As a young gymnast, Simone was already turning heads with her performances at the Junior Olympic National Championships. A 13-year-old Simone, full of energy and nerves, steps onto the floor. She dazzled everyone, winning gold in the floor exercise and bronze in the vault. It was clear that she had something special. Her routines were not just technically perfect, but also infused with a flair and confidence that set her apart from her peers but the junior level was just the beginning. Transitioning to the elite level is where the real challenges began. For many young athletes, this step can be daunting. The competition is tougher, the routines more complex, and the expectations sky high. Simone faced all of this head on. Her debut at the elite level was in 2011, and while it came with its fair share of struggles, Simone's raw talent and relentless work ethic quickly shone through. She had a few falls and mistakes, but instead of letting them discourage her, she used them as learning experiences. Each stumble was a lesson, each mistake a stepping stone. By 2013, Simone was ready to take the world by storm. At just 16 years old, she competed in her first world championships, and she didn't just compete, she dominated. Simone became the first African-American woman to win the all-around title at the World Championships. Can you imagine the pressure she must have felt? Yet she performed with such grace and power that it seemed almost effortless. She didn't stop there. She also took home gold in the floor exercise and bronze in the balance beam. This was just the beginning of her historic run. From 2013 onwards, Simone's list of achievements at the World Championships grew longer and more impressive each year. She won her second consecutive all-around title in 2014 and continued to set records. In 2015, she won her third all-around title, making her the first woman to do so in over 20 years. Simone's performances were not just about winning medals. 
they were about redefining what was possible in gymnastics. Her routines included moves that had never been done before, each one more breathtaking than the last. One of the most memorable moments was in 2018 when she made a comeback after a brief break. Simone won four gold medals and one silver at the World Championships, showing the world that she was back and better than ever. Her total of 25 World Championship medals made her the most decorated gymnast in World Championships history. It's almost hard to keep track of all her records because she kept breaking them. It's often a stereotypical image that comes to mind. Petite, slender, and usually white, Simone Biles has completely shattered that mold. Standing at 4'8", she might be small in stature, but her physical presence is anything but typical. Simone is muscular, powerful, and unapologetically herself. She's not just a gymnast, she's a force of nature. This wasn't always seen as a positive in the gymnastics world, which has long held on to outdated and narrow beauty standards. Simone's presence challenges these norms and shows that excellence comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Her coaches, Laurent and Cécile Landy, have played a significant role in her journey. Unlike traditional coaching methods that often force athletes to conform to a rigid set of rules and routines, the Landis adopted a more flexible approach. They recognized that Simone's strengths were unique and needed to be nurtured in a way that suited her best. Laurent Landy once said, we had to adjust to Simone, otherwise we would have broken her. This kind of adaptive coaching is rare, but crucial. They didn't just train her, they listened to her, understood her needs, and created a supportive environment where she could thrive. This flexibility was especially important given Simone's powerful build and extraordinary abilities, which required a different approach than what was considered standard. During the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, she decided to withdraw from the individual all-around finals due to her temporary loss of air balance awareness, known as the twisties. Simona's journey hasn't been without its struggles. The pressure of being the best, the expectations, and the intense scrutiny took a toll on her mental health. During the Tokyo Olympics, she experienced what's known as the twisties, a terrifying mental block where gymnasts lose their sense of space and direction while in the air. It was a stark reminder that even the greatest athletes are human and can struggle with mental health issues. Simone faced a barrage of criticism, with some labeling her a quitter, but she stood firm, prioritizing her well-being over competing. This decision wasn't just brave, it was groundbreaking. It sparked a much-needed conversation about mental health in sports and showed that true strength lies in knowing when to step back and take care of yourself. Throughout these challenges, Simone found incredible support in her personal life, especially from her husband, Jonathan Owens. After Tokyo, when she was dealing with immense pressure and self-doubt, Jonathan was her rock. He encouraged her to continue her therapy and stay focused on her training, providing a shoulder to lean on during those dark times. His unwavering support helped her navigate through the criticism and emerge even stronger. Simone Biles' experience at the Tokyo Olympics was one of the most dramatic and talked about moments in recent sports history. It all started with the twisties. If you've never heard of it, the twisties are a mental block where gymnasts lose their sense of space and direction while in the air. For Simone, it was like her mind and body were suddenly out of sync a terrifying and dangerous situation for any gymnast, let alone someone performing at her level. The public response was a mixed bag. Some people, who perhaps didn't fully understand the gravity of the twisties, criticized her, calling her a quitter. Others, including many fellow athletes and mental health advocates, rallied around her. They praised her courage for prioritizing her well-being over the pressure to compete Simone Biles' comeback story is nothing short of legendary. After taking time to recover and regroup, she made a triumphant return to competition at the Core Hydration Classic in 2023. As if she had never been away, Simone dominated the event, winning the all-around floor exercise and balance beam. It was a clear signal to the world that she was back and better than ever. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.